We are underway at Cogra. And it's the Dragons. First touch of the ball. 25 okay, metres out from their own line. All the way, all the way. Tangata Toa oh, makes it to the 30. To the short side they go through, Bartram. Just one out stuff at the moment. The front rower, Corey Pearson, up towards halfway. Brown at dummy half. Gives it to the other front rower, Colin Ward. He's inside Maypie's territory. Final tackle coming up. No nonsense opening set of six by the Dragons. And there's Rodwell just drilling it down to the fullback, young Brett Hodgson. Only 20 years of age, the fullback. Yeah, good set of six there by St George, really just get there, getting the feel of the game there. The same with West, they know they've got to start well. Didn't give away a penalty in that first set. Good signs for Western Suburbs so far. Chris Yates with an early hit up for the front rower. Well, let's go sideline now to former international Brett Kenny and Brett, uh, the rain staying away, fortunately for you, but what about the rest of the conditions? Well, it's not too bad down here, Clarkie. It's uh, very still, there's hardly any breeze, and uh, it, the conditions on the field, ground is very good underfoot, so uh, I think we could be in for a very exciting game, and uh, even though Western Suburbs have lost their three, doesn't mean to say they won't be fired up. I'm sure Tommy has got them fired up for this one. So two completed sets of six to start the game. Raper playing it back to Ainsco. And that is Wagon. About 15 from the halfway line. Corey Pearson running strongly. Met by some pretty solid defence, though. To the short side they go. First penalty. Tracy looking for the quick play of the ball. The make by too slow to release him. Well, I'd like okay. to see that again, Greg, because here he goes to get up and play. I reckon he's just dead set, just fallen over. You wouldn't have done that. Well, I don't think too many hands actually pushed him down to play the ball there. I think he just fell over. Well, he's milked a penalty. Well, he certainly and it puts has. St George into a very good position. I've done that before. Rodwell, 25 metres out. Brown, looking for runners. Colin Ward hitting the line strongly. Mundine. They stood off him, got it away to Raper. So some pressure on the Western Suburbs defensive line early on here. Mundine, a familiar play playmaker role. Uh, Pearson had to start from a standing start there. Wasn't really running onto it. I don't know whether he was expecting that pass. 10 metres out. Mark Coyne trying to get something going through the dummy. Thought he spotted a gap, but soon closed. Tracy at dummy half. Rodwell. Pearson. In front of the uprights. Final tackle. Rodwell. The grubber kick. And behind the line, there's a real scramble, but Western Suburbs have saved the day. And it was 17 that got there, Andrew Leeds. Oh, Leeds, he did a great job there. Just held back just enough. Rodwell doing a terrific job and going straight to the line. Here he goes, right up there, plays right at the man. Leeds, a great effort to get back there and get that ball down. They're under all sorts of pressure. See, one of the best things West are doing so far, they're not rushing Mundine, they're leaving him alone, leaving him alone, let him pass the ball, then attack the, the guys who are trying to get the ball out wide. So leads with the restart. Mundine. Taken by Mesha, also Kennedy in there. Brown! Almost through the gap, Nathan Brown. Mundine. Jamie Ainsco. It's a change direction. McGuinness has got him. It's Kevin McGuinness. Losing a bit of ground on that occasion, the Saints. Raper at dummy half to Mundine again, really involving himself, himself on attack. Anthony Mundine. Colin Ward. Back to Mundine. Wait, no penalties. Last tackle. Last Final last tackle last again. They've had plenty of field position and possession, the Dragons. Oh, good defence, Langmack. Read Ball that beautiful. All. Read that beautiful, Greg, no, sorry. Let it go, last tackle. Come on. Stay there. So that's the first changeover in the match. Brett Kenny, pretty good handling early on. 
It certainly has been. There's been a lot of talk about how the ball becomes slippy when it gets wet, but uh, you can't complain about the handling so far in this match. But I've got to commend uh, the Western Suburbs defence. have been under a lot of pressure from St George, but they've come away very strong. Oh, what about that one? Great defence. Tanya Natoa. He gave it to him. Oh, Langman crunched on this occasion by Pearson, but have a look at 12. Andrew Tanga the Tower. Sabay Pai's 10 from halfway. Nil all the score at Cogra. Kicking from dummy half. Raper is back there. Famous name here at St George, but no relation to the great Johnny Raper as Dean Raper. Ainsco, 30 from halfway. Oh, I tell you, there's a bit of feeling getting into this game now. A couple of guys just going up a little bit high in their defence. The Western Suburbs a little anxious. Inside the 10. Yeah, this, the West side really, they're just coming up too quick. They should just hold their line, let St George play, then make the tackle. Forget about trying to get up there and bash and just take your time. Now it's Bundine again. Runners on the inside, it was Pearson. Rodwell to Tracy. Taken by his opposite number, Damian Kennedy. Holding down. Taking it down. No, no, he's coming down. Well, an opportunity for them to have a shot at goal here. One of the players there, Kennedy, saying he held him down. There he is pulling him. Might have had a bit of a case, but I think he did hold on just a little bit too long. The West side really trying to slow this whole game right down so they can regroup and get their defence set. OK, I'll get for a ball. Fair enough. So seven minutes gone of the first half and the first scoring opportunity for the Dragons through Wayne Bartram. Hello, testing, one, two, three, Dougie. 63% okay. last season, and that's quite low for Wayne Bartram. Dougie, you... In 1996, Dougie, you he scored 176 Dougie, points. Me? And that's the most by a lock forward in any season in the history of the game. Greg, while that uh, penalty was being given, there was a, a couple of players. Jamie Ainscar was having a few words to say to Kenny McGuinness and Kevin McGuinness. So uh, there certainly is a fair bit of feeling out there. I think that goes back to when Raper dived on the ball on the right-hand side of the field there, Bert. And McGuinness coming in a little bit late, and Raper wasn't too happy about it. And I think Ainscar had seen it. Had a few words to say to him, yeah. Certainly did. Wayne Bartram, 22 metres out. He sends it down the middle. They're on the board. The St George Dragons leading the Western Suburbs Magpies by two points to nil. So long last they have some points on the board to show for a lot of possession they've had in the first half so far. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, you've got to give West a, a bit of a wrap with their defence, as Brent Kenny's already said. They hold their line, they're moving up as quick as they can, holding okay, just down a fraction. That's what that penalty came from. They're all just trying to rush things a little bit. Kennedy with the restart for West. Suburbs haven't seen any possession at this end of the field, so they need to try and force a mistake here. Pearson driven back in the tackle. Brown a dummy half. Bartram. Ten from halfway. Mundine. Rodwell. Oh. Out to Ainsco through the gap. Chance oh. here. Positioned himself perfectly. The support was on the inside, and it was all over as soon as Robble got in the clear. 6 0. Yeah, it's great ball here by Mundine. Look at the nice long ball there by Robble. That's tremendous. And Ainsco got on the outside of McGinnis. This is the ball that worries me. That is dead set forward. Mender is right there. That was a forward pass. But the ball from Robble to Ainsco, a la Newcastle. 
great football there, Brett Kenny. Well, this is a great backs try. That was a great ball. Haynes K positioned himself well, as I said, straight into a gap, and of course, backing up again on the inside after throwing the pass was Rodwell. The pass, I guess, was borderline, but uh, I, I tell you, I couldn't disagree with that. Well, it's, if it's, <laughs> it can't be borderline, it's either Ford or it's not. Well, it's the first try for St George in the NRL for Matthew Rodwell. 22 career tries. Good way to start for him at the new club. Bartram, after landing the penalty only a couple of minutes ago, is right in front. No problems for there, from there, so it's eight points to nil. St George over Wes, a question on the pass, but it's on the board. Just watch James go here, draws the fullback beautifully. Mate, if that isn't Ford, I'm not here. You see Tim Mann on the right-hand side of the screen there. Robble did a tremendous job in doing the pass and, do and backing up the same time. Well, that's a forward pass by a mile. Brett, did you have a look at it then? Well, the thing that may have helped was the fact that Ainsco kept moving forward yes. as well. So that I may agree. have put the, put the referee offline a little. Well, now it's the Dragons again inside their 20. Look at the penalty. No, that was a straight out look, Denmark. No way, we will, mate. Straight out look. He's got them for milking a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think out of ten, the old swan dive, I think you got about nine and a half. He could win an Academy Award after that, I think. <laughs> Corey Pearson. Great to see the referee right there, they say, look, you're milking with penalty, son. Get out of there. Yeah, OK, no, no milking this type of stuff, just up. Wes, one of the things I, I think West have got to be careful of, while they haven't been totally concentrating on uh, Anthony Mundine, if they, if they worry about him too much and they leave the likes of Matthew Rodwell alone, he has shown just then that he can create problems for them. Yeah, well, Ainsco, he set it up beautifully running that hole, but McGuinness really, he didn't defend anybody. And the wing has seen the ball coming out that wide, should have come in and made the tackle. Leeds, his first shot at goal, from 20 metres out. It's there, they're on the board, the Megans. Eight points to two, St George over Western Suburbs. And that just might settle the Magpies down a little bit. First scoring opportunity, they've got something to show for it. Yeah, well, they haven't had much ball, as Brett Kenny's already pointed out, down on that, that half. And when they do, it's either just a, from pure luck, from a kick return, and they're making all the defence. Steve George Arles, he's been a great servant for the club, hasn't he? 68th consecutive game in first grade, George Arles. That's the sort of player you want running around week in, week out. Good value for money player. The restart by Bartram. Hodgson looking for some runners. Find Scandalis charging onto it, up towards the 20 metre mark. Possession going St George's way. 81% possession. Good defence. Losing the boot. Langmack. Leading by example. Now they go wide. Ken McGuinness. Got rid of Ainsco. Gorgialis at dummy half. Kevin McGuinness. Right down the throat almost of Raper. He made a mess of it, but fortunately for him it went backwards. Who's pinned on the 20 metre mark? Oh, West side are really slowing this play of the ball down. I'll get pinged again shortly. Ainsco back to Brown. Starting out a dummy half before offloading to Tracy. Ken McGuinness around the legs, pulled him down. Ward up over halfway. Pearson, the angled run back on the inside of Brown, but they didn't fall for it, the Magpies. Left-footed kick from Dummy, half by Brown, not a good one. Out on the full, so they'll come back to the 40-metre mark. West end of the ground. I think David Waite would be impressed with that kick. Plenty of open space out there to put it down further. Damien Kennedy. Oh, 
another knock on there. You just cannot afford to squander possession like that. Oh, he's just dropped the cold there. Trying to say that Tangatatoa had his hand in there, but there was no chance whatsoever. Good call by referee Tim Mander. Outside legs up, props. 15 Outside minutes gone. Up, Outside leg Eight up. two, St George over West. No way, we're going to get it right. Don't know, don't twist. Bring it around. Matt, get it in. Stay in there, get back, get back, get back. with the feed, Bartram takes it out. Raper at dummy half. Taken by George Arliss. Rodwell. Pearson. Ramaker came in. Looked to be a little high, but it was okay according to the referee. Now it's Brown. Picking up 10 metres from dummy half, even more, 15 metres or so. Rodwell, Mundine, changing direction. Coming away from one or two. But the mate plays hold the line. Final tackle coming up. Checking for the wing. Knocked back, it's play on, but play the Magpies have it. Good work there by the young fullback there, Hodgson. Stayed out of the play, let someone else jump for the okay. ball. Saw That's the ball cool. come down, then he went for okay. it. Oh, oh, big defence by Nathan Brown. He picked him up and threw him into the turf. But West has really set themselves up for a one-on-one -on -one tackle because they're not taking anyone with backup. Langmack. McGinnis stepping, looking to offload, nobody there. George Arles, got a kick in, only just. And Raper, perfectly positioned. Inside his own 20, now he makes it to the 30 mark. Stand up and play the ball. No, no, you stand up and play the ball. Greg West have made a, a replacement. Shane McMenemy has gone on. He's replaced John Scandalis. Well, basic error here. Not getting to his feet. Gee, there were plenty of black and white jumpers around there. Well, I thought he'd actually managed to get to his feet and play the ball. He really did. Something that the referee's been picking up in the last four or five NRL games. You must get to your feet before playing that ball. Leeds will have his second shot at goal. Korea percentage 68%. That's a 30 metre mark. 20 metres in from touch. Greg, Ken McGuinness has had a change of jumper. He is now wearing number 18. The 5 8 today. Ken McGuinness. Oh, he's in the centres. His brother, Kev, is the 5'8". Leeds has a shot at goal and just makes it across. But that's enough. It's snuck over the crossbar. So they're staying in touch, the Magpies. Eight points to four. I'll tell you what, with the defence that's been out there today, the first probably 15, 20 minutes of this game, there's been no drop balls. It's been very good football. Coming up to the 19th minute, and Bartram kicking off. Hodgson offloading straight away to the new man, Shane McMenemy. Yates. To the blind, they turned it on the inside, and Ramakick with the angle run. Takes a bit of stopping and then gets the pass away. That's good work. Syriaco Mesha. About five or six metres from halfway. McGuinness. Inside it goes to Kennedy. Good tackle by Ward. McGuinness to Donovan. Back inside. They've got them for a knock on. The touch judge gave... The referee, the call. By West, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it. In here, 20 metres. 
this back here a bit, Matthew, thanks. This is a little bit hard done by, I think. Great ball back inside. St. George holding their line tremendous. Flicks it out the back. I think the ball's gone. Oh, I don't think there was a knock on. Okay, take I think the ball was propelled backwards in. twice yeah, there. No, Greg? <laughs> line legs ball. Up. Outside legs up. No, so touchy. Up. Had a good look at it. <laughs> Daniel Wagon. Ains go inside to Brown. He puts the foot on the pedal. Well, but the make plays really have got to stop giving away some of these penalties. Well, that's twice Kennedy's done the same thing. The tackle's been made. He falls off. Then he comes in for the big flop. That's what the referee's trying to do. Oh, Jerry O'Masher. Let's get him a little happy. Slap on the chin there with his knee. Greg St. George have made another change. Luke Felsch in number 14 has gone on to replace Colin Ward. So now it's the Dragons in good field position again. Mundine, the inside pass to the new man Felsch. He missed most of last season through injury. He'll be pretty keen to have a good start to the new NRL. Mundine, that was forward. No doubt about that one. There's plenty been said there between those two players and Ainsco and McGuinness, the younger one. Did a good job, the 5'8", and holding him down. Still waiting for the man to explode. Has had a lot of room to move in so far. Oh, oh mistake by McGuinness. No, that's a bad pass by George Arles. There they go, they're at it again, these two. Kevin McGuinness and Ainsco, they've been having a go at each other. Cool it down, cool it down, cool it down. Let's walk away. Greg, I think the problem was there that McGuinness knocked the ball on. It wasn't a great pass, but then he played the man. He never never once tried to get the ball back. Okay, we'll protect you, okay? To protect you. It's a scrum and it's a knock on. There's a bad ball there. That's terrible passing by George Arles. And like you said, he does play the man Mundine. And here comes Ainsco. Uh, I don't know what happened after that. I'll tell you what's going to flare up in this scrum very shortly. She's going to be all on. Right, nice and easy. No, get it in there. It's the Dragons leading by eight points to four. And Mundine on Leeds. Got away from Leeds. Oh. Swinging arm coming in from Willis. Plenty of work in there on Mundine. Trying to upset him to take him off his game. Fell oh. across the chest. There we go. Manders had enough. Right down, Anthony. Anthony, you'll go too. Let's get going. Ten minutes. Repeated infringements, Paul. So it's ten minutes in the bend for Kennedy. It's his third penalty. This is the work that Mundine gets, and they're in there with everything. Langmack oh, trying to get everyone off. I'll tell you what, he's not happy. Watch this tackle here by Mesher. Oh, just right on the chest. Quite lucky. Oh, well, that was nothing really. It's just a bit of pushing and shoving. Three penalties in a row for Kennedy. There's not what his team or his coach. Rodonicus would be wanting. Oh, just a bit of confusion as to who has been sent to the uh, sin bin now. West have made a change around the same time. Greg, I think it's Damien Kennedy who's been sent to the sin bin. John Scandalis has just come back on again. And uh, I think he's replaced Chris Yates. So there's players going everywhere. Well, they're down to 12. The Magpies for the next 10 minutes. And Bartram with an easy shot at goal to try and extend that lead. Take it back out to a six point buffer again. Wayne Bartram steers it between the uprights again. They've got the six point buffer. 
tell you what, when Butcher has taken that kick, the two McGuinness boys and Langmack are having some verbal talk and there's Langmack still coming up, feels same to the young kid. Listen, settle down, son, settle down. Don't get carried away and give away silly penalties. In fact, the other replacement that was made was uh, Darren Ramika came off and Scott Coxon replaced him wearing number uh, 14. What about the good work here by Langmack to slow it all down? Well, he knows he's down to 12 men. Go and talk to the referee, slow it down, and get his man back on there as quick as possible. That's experience. Well, it's not Damien Kennedy that's in the sin bin because he uh, kicked the ball off. To George through Pearson, taken by Coxon. Who, in fact, was Shane McMenemy. The re interchange replacement that is in the bin. Oh, he's offside, Langmack, by about two yards. Final tackle coming up. Rodwell with the kick. Hodgson. Great take. The chase was good. By St George. This is when West has just got to go forward just for one and then spread the ball out to their right. There's only about three defenders for St George. West won't do it now. They're all on a big bunch. Scandalous. Measure a dummy half. Easy pickings for the St. George defensive line so far. Now it's Langmack. The final tackle coming up. McGuinness. Dean Raper. Taken by Donovan and Ken McGuinness. Wagon. St. George should go right now. Oh, he hasn't played that ball properly. Tracy driven back in the tackle. Oh, young McGuinness is fired up out there. Fired up. Oh, good tackle by McGuinness and McGuinness. Oh, Scandalis is jumping over the top for him. It's a final tackle for so the George should run it on the right. Rodwell kicking instead. Straight down to Brett Hodgson. Mundine with a chase by him. I think West has got to try and say, let's go forward, say, once or twice, but then get the ball out the backs and get some sort of back line set. That's good. Don't just taking it one off, it's just easy pickings for St George. Now they go wide and Kennedy is out there. Popped it back on the inside, it's play on. George Arles, about 35 metres out from the line. Kennedy again, Great step. to the short side. Bit of momentum for the Magpies. Final tackle, George Jarlis, McGuinness, Langmack, keeping it alive. Oh, ball. McGuinness, doubles, then gives it to Hodgson. Oh. Hodgson, nobody will touch him. Great try by the Western Suburbs Magpies. They got a bit of momentum going on the far side of the field and they finished it off on the other side. Well, look at them all there, Greg. They've all run in, they congratulated the young kid, Hodgson. What a magnificent step on his right foot. Unbelievable stuff there by the young kid. Great play here to go wide, the same before, they had to go wide. Well, I think that ball might have been just a yard forward, but this is a great inside ball. Watch this here, draws the man, watch the right foot step. Oh, beautiful stuff there by the young kid, Brett Kenny. Certainly was, he has got a very good step on him. It was a good, good back line movement by the Western Suburbs Magpies. A couple of decoy runners going through there, and Langmack throws the pass. There was a decoy runner there. Great inside ball by McGuinness. Held it up at the right time, and as we said before, it was a great step. 
He's playing well, this young kid. He certainly is, but the, the ball play really was off young Kennedy. He, he was coming around late, he probably wasn't even supposed to be there, but it allowed Langmack to hold his pass up and make the St. George defence slide across and stay out on McGuinness. Good try there by the young kid. Now we know why Leeds is in the centres. 10-8 and Andrew Leeds to try and lock it all up at 10-all. Three from three for the sharpshooter. Andrew Leeds. So after St George had most of the possession in the first 20, it's now 10-all and West have done well to get back. There we go again. Good ball here by McGuinness. Nice what I thought that ball was for, but that's where young Kennedy come in. He fades across here, McGuinness, holds the ball back inside. I thought Ainsco could have probably slowed down and watched the ball runner who was coming back on the inside. How many times have we seen it when a side's down a man, they come up with a try? Yes, McManamy still in the sin bin for Western Suburbs. I'll tell you what, this Western Suburbs are, they're playing with a bit of heart. They're not scared to mix it, are they? A couple of big name forwards missing as well. Pomery, Howard. Get him down, Wayne. But they're back into this one, Western Suburbs. Now can they go on with it? Had a big hand in that opening try for West. That man there, Kennedy, Damien Kennedy. Ramaka picked up and driven into the turf. Almost on halfway. McGuinness. Perfectly positioned again, Dean Raper. McManamy is cooling his head or his heels. Cooling everything in the tunnel. Waiting to come back. Oh, I tell you what, Ainsco should be penalised there. Good refereeing, Gary Freeman. Well, he's walked off the mark. Listen to the referee here. forward, mate. Right here. Yeah, he's okay. walked off the mark three or four metres. He's kidding. I tell you what, in there, mate. young... McGuinness, Kevin McGuinness, wasn't he happy? He was dead. Whoa! They've got to go off, off. It's to hold up for one of the West players uh, receiving some treatment on the sideline. It's Adam Donovan. What's happening? A Siri Lang will be coming on to replace Donovan while he's in the blood bin. Siri Lang plays some time in reserve grade. Named in the original starting lineup, but dropped for disciplinary reasons. Now it's Ramika and Western Suburbs. A great opportunity. Lang back. Goes the dummy. They don't fall for it, but he's only 10 metres out. Mesher at dummy half. George Jarlis to McGuinness. Still 10 out. George Arles. Scandalous. George Arles again. They've got numbers. Lane back on the inside. George Arles picked it up. So George under some pressure again. Hodgson kicking in behind the line. Can they dri drive it out of the end goal? They can. Lee Murphy. Lee Murphy. That was great work by the wing. He got back there in time. St. George now used the ball. Oh, nice and hard. <laughs> Lee Murphy has been hit by his opposite number, Darren Willis, a head high tackle. I think it was just a bit of a loose arm, really. Nothing was okay, meant okay. by it. Yeah, okay. Where you go? Where you go? I saw a high tackle. Yeah. Just a penalty? Just okay, Darren, let's get him down a bit, mate. Yeah, Way too high. Down out here, okay? Yeah, the ones out there. Kennedy got taken out. We've been for a try. Okay, mate. Good referee in there by Lang Mack. <laughs> Saying his side would have scored on that right side. Here's the head eye tackle. Oh, he throws it up nice and high. Kennedy looks on. Red Chris Yates has gone back on. He's had a bit of a breather and he's gone back on again. Chris Yates. Front row for Western Suburbs. And play goes on. It's the Dragons. Let it go! Let it go! 
Bartram got through one tackle. 15 is also on for St. George. That's Robbie Simpson. Mundine throws it back on the inside. Luke Felsch up to the 30 meter mark. Inside from Mundine to Long. Back to Mundine. Stepping. Now they go wide. Pearson. Bartram back on the angle run. Loses the football and they'll play the knock on. One on one, no problems. I'll tell you what, the little Mun no Mundine run across the field, pick up his runners. I'll tell you what, Nathan Brown showed a great step. That's where he loses the ball. One on one, it's fair to pull the ball out. There's the ball by Anthony Mundine. They're all hanging off Mundine, letting him do the passes. Back to Mundine again. It was a great piece of play. Everyone just backing up, running into holes. Pearson, they didn't know whether to take him or not. They held their line perfectly. Hodgson's comes up with a good tackle there. As Langers leaves the field, she's along with a bit of a cork fire. I hope it's not too serious. Scott Coxon, Coxon will be going on for, uh, for Langmac. How does Jamie Ainsco had a bit to say to Paul Langmac as he walked past him as well? So a lot of verbal going on out there. There's no love lost this. Outside leg up. He's probably Outside just hoping up. he recovers from the injury pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Just wishing him well. Is that what he's up, uh, doing, up. Brett? Fair enough. That's good. A Siri Lang. Up by one. Oh, Ramak has had a great game go, so go. far. From a rooster, Darren Ramaker. Still inside their own territory, the Magpies and George Jarlis goes wide now. Oh, oh he threw it. But he was tackled. Skandala's not too happy with it. If he could have got this ball away, Brown has rushed up out of the line. Oh, that's just crazy play, and you think he knows it too, so does George Jarlis. He got that pass away, they were in a bit of trouble there, St George, because Brown was there by himself. Not, Rodwell, not finding touch. That's a bad mistake because it wouldn't would have given St George a great attacking opportunity with five minutes to go in the first half. But it's a Magpies that come away with it. Scott Coxon. Now it's Scandalous. Good, strong run. Hits the line. It's going good. Shows this man, Darren Ramaker. Greg Shane McKenney's gone on. Damien Kennedy's come off. Sloppy pass, picked up by McGuinness, Ken McGuinness. Oh, what a ball. beautiful ball away to McMenemy, back from the sin bin. He kicks ahead for a Siri Lang. The chase is on. The Dragons get there first. It was Daniel Wagon that rounded the ball just ahead of. The charging of Siri Lang. What about that kick? That's unbelievable. Shane McBenny. Unbelievable stuff there by the big front row. Puts a lovely kick in there. He's just got there. The Siri Lang was flying. But what about the ball from McGuinness? With those sort of kicks, they're not allowed by front rowers. What about this ball here, Brett Kenny? What's this? Look? He's heard the call. He knows he's coming. Oh, tremendous. He showed ball. some pace. But the kick, I mean, front rowers aren't supposed to do that. Well, if they do kick, they're supposed to go out on the full. Now it's Chris Yates. The time running out in this first half. Locked up at 10 all. Just one try apiece. Wadwell for St. George. Hodgson for West. McMenemy. He's trying to make up for lost time. He spent 10 minutes in the bin. Uh, not much in the tackle. 79 to 74. Coxon. 20 metres out. McGuinness. Oh, he popped it out the back door to his brother. And he couldn't control it. They really are trying to force the pass. There's the drop ball. He probably won't do that again for the rest of the season. He's put a little bit of pressure on himself, he's trying a little bit hard, and he's trying to upset the opposition. Okay, so what he has back. done, he's kept Mundine very quiet. That's good. That's screw up, screw up the feed. Yeah, that's good. Wait, wait, wait! 
Wagon. In from the wing, looking for a bit of action. Come back, come back. No penalties, couple minutes to go. Right back. Good ball and all tackle. Coming in from Leeds. Leeds. Simpson plays it. Pearson. Come on. Sportsman Corey Pearson represented New South Wales in junior cricket. Now it's Ainsdale. Now let's have a look at this. Will they say a few words here? Ainsdale and McGuinness. Oh, he was taken out. Mesha by Brown. Hodgson, try scorer. Don't lift, don't lift. They didn't fall for the dummy. Siri Lang. Here he goes for the and kick. Two. Watch this here. Wait here. Oh, stand wait. up, stand up. <laughs> I think he could have kept on going. I think there was a 7.5 for the <laughs> dive there. And there's plenty of them. Scandalous. Ramika goes oh, wide to Lane. Can't get away from Wagon though. That's a good tackle by Wagon. It's the halfway line. McGuinness. So the Dragons will have the last throw of the dice in the first half. Right butt taken by Lang. Ain't go at dummy half. Mr. So George should go wide now. On West. Play the ball very slow. To the short side, Tracy. <laughs> oh, it's combining well there. As the halftime siren sounds at Congra Oval. On the home side, the St George Dragons got off to a flying start, dominating the possession in the first 20, but they've allowed the Magpies to get back into the match, and it's one try apiece. So 10 all at half time. All locked up at 10 apiece here. Half time at Cogra Oval, round one of the NRL. And the first half statistics. Well, not much in those, uh, Gary, as we can see. Possession uh, belonged to uh, St. George, 61%, but at one stage they're up to around about uh, 80%. So Western Suburbs did pretty well to peg that back. Well, they certainly did. To hold them out for so long without the ball. And the other thing is, uh, I think the missed tackle rate. It's quite, quite good, really, for both sides. And the errors, in those errors there, I don't think we've seen probably more than, say, three drop balls from both sides, which has been out, outstanding. The penalties, of course, have gone to St. George. That's due to West really holding the players down for too long in the, in the tackle. Time at own half, 49% to 51%. And it was really St. George dominating the opening 20 in that first half, and Magpies coming back. Robble, one of the try scorers. Well, that's one man really has to take control of the game, Robble. And the other guy who we've gotten on camera now, Langmack, is doing plenty of talking to the referee. But Robble has got to get a better kicking game in if St. George want to come away with this game. <laughs> I think he said something about his head. <laughs> Lang is, he's a character on the field. <laughs> We're underway for the second half. McGuinness looking for runners. And he finds Chris Yates. Darren Willis in from the left wing. Scandalis gets some reaction from the dressing rooms before too long. Special waits for the dummy half and feeds it on to Ramika. Pretty good first half, Ramika. Langback. Runs okay, straight into Corey Pearson. Good chasing by Nathan Long, but there was no one else chasing, and so McGuinness in the end was able to get the kick away under no real pressure. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the West players, they should actually stand back with him, let him kick in front, because they're not giving the kid any other options. If he does get tackled, they're in all sorts of trouble, let me tell you. Well, that's the halfway mark. Let's first of all get reaction 
from Mark Even, uh, Egan, one of the uh, skills trainers on the coaching staff for the Magpies. And Mark, thanks for joining us. It was a good comeback in that last 20. We'll get back to him before too long. Simpson. I played four, two to go, no penalties. No penalties. Coin a dummy half to Mundine. The inside pass to Corey okay, Pearson. Up, last tackle. Final away, tackle coming up now. Wait for it, wait for it. To the short side. The grubber Go kick on. from Rodwell. Hodgson oh. got there and saved the day for the Bay Pies. Brett Hodgson. So we'll have a restart with the goal mouth dropout. And now, once again, Mark Egan from the uh, coaching staff at the Magpies. A good comeback in the second uh, half of that first half, Mark. Yeah, towards the back end of that half, we did control a little, the ball a little better. And uh, that's what Tom's looking for in this second half, to uh, eliminate a few silly penalties and errors. And we think with a fair share of possession, we can win the game. Certainly, I think what Tommy's trying to do is the discipline, slowing the ball down and giving away those vital penalties, penalties you don't need, Mark. Oh, definitely not, Gary. It puts us on the back foot as it did that first 20, but they recovered well, and uh, if we can get through this first period of the second half, I'm sure we can win the game. OK, good luck for the rest of the match. Thanks Mark very much. Egan, as the Dragons really pour on the pressure, it was a great hit up by Corey Pearson. Now Bartram, the crowd getting behind them. Rodwell, there's a chance out wide. The inside oh. pass has been picked up. Oh, oh scrambling defence, pulling look Mark Coyne down, only about two oh. metres out from the line. Rodwell at dummy half, they go wide, Mundine, Pearson, runs to the line, throws the dummy, Corey Pearson is in for the try, the Dragons draw the first blood of the second half. Well, Pearson stormed onto a ball about three tackles prior to that, and if anyone deserved to finish it off, that series of movements, it was Corey Pearson, 14 points to 10. He certainly, he really did set up. This is the barnstorm, and look at him go. You want to tackle me? Here I come, boys. He takes three of them out there. Gets up, quick play of the ball. The ball goes wide by Rodwell and Mundine. Just lets the ball, watch this player here. He turns the ball back inside, holds up the defence. Runnaker comes up with a missed tackle. And there's not much that Hodgkin, Hodgkin can do with that tackle there. Brett. Well, I mean, that was, as you say, he deserved to try because he, it was a barnstorming run from the the ensuing play, but uh, that would just come up with a missed tackle there. It was a nice decoy run on the inside, which helped him. And as you say, the fullback, well, I mean, what chance have you got when you've got a guy this size running at you and he's only a metre from the line? <laughs> you haven't got much, but he's had an outstanding game as the fullback, along with this bloke here. He has played very, very well. Corey Pearson. I guess that's not the type of start that uh, Tommy Donicus was looking for either. You know, these guys, they've had it pretty tough in the first half, and I'm sure he would have wanted Western Suburbs to come up with the first points. So Bartram looking to keep his 100% record intact. Slung it around beautifully. Another six-point buffer for the Dragons over the make by 16 points to 10. Let's get some reaction now from the St George coaching staff and assistant coach Mac Ninnis joins us. And Max, um, well, certainly the start to the second half you were looking for. Yes, we, have. we needed to up the tempo and we have and we've resulted in a try, so that's very good. We need to keep it going. That's all. There's another 30 odd minutes to go. What was the message from David Wade at the break? Uh, well, he thought that we were our own worst enemy. We gave, oh. we gave away three penalties while we were in possession and we also held a... Uh, Oh, I'd never put a kick out from a penalty, so yeah, th th that was a lot of pressure on us. And a comment on uh, Mundine's uh, first half back in the famous uh, white and red jersey. Oh no, we're happy with chocolate, whatever he does. He, he just inspires us, he's okay. Yeah, okay, let's hope he can explode for you sometime in the second half, especially for the fans. About 7,000 here today. And Max, thanks for your time. Oh, Thank you. Come back. <laughs> penalty, St George. I talked to you, mate, and you didn't listen to me. Certainly not the start that Tommy would like. Well, the Ford's just getting up in front. Once again, the referee saying, get back with me, get back with me, and penalise him. Once again, St George have had all the ball. 8-3 the penalty count. You can't win football like that. Luke Welsh, Felsch. Losing the ball, and it's play on. 
An easy turnover. I don't think there was two men in the tackle there. The penalty could certainly have gone against West. You miss your dummy half. Kennedy. Some nice touches from Damien Kennedy in the first half. And the players to lead the fight back by the Magpies. The Saints have been caught inside the 10 here. Penalty to the Magpies. Well, the quick play of the ball there. Mesher just jumping out. I don't think that player was actually offside. I think it was Corey Pierce, who wasn't back to 10 metres, who did get penalised. Leeds. Leeds finding touch. There's plenty of coaching going on out there by the players. Good drive in the defence there by Mundine and Coy. Scandalous. Popped it out the back door. They go wide. Laying back a bit of a fumble. Control the ball into Kennedy. Kennedy. Ball back to beat. Oh. David Kennedy. What a try to oh. the Magpies. They've hit back. They went wide. The inside pass caught the St George cover napping. And Kennedy had plenty of work to do. He's delighted with that 16 to 14 kick to come from beside the sticks. Oh, good bustling run there by Scandalis. Watch him here. He pops the ball out. No one's really set. No one knows what's going on. Good long ball there by George Alice. Langmet nearly dropped it. The ball back inside. Watch the footwork here. The left, the right. And then he out sprints the fullback all the way to the try line. The winger comes across and wagon, but he just gets there too late. That's a oh, that's a great. This is a tremendous ball here, Brett Kenny. Yes, this is Scandalis's try. He's able to unlay there. As you said, Langmack juggled the ball a bit back inside, and this kid is a very good player. He's got a very good step on him as well. Runs very strong and very hard. Deserved that try. He's played very well in the first half. What about the way he changed hands when he came to the fullback? The ball was in the right hand. He switched over to the left, put the right hand fend out, and got over for the try. That's, that is tremendous work by the big fella. It's all locked up again at Cogra. Successful conversion from Andrew Leeds. No problem from that distance. So it's 16 all, St George and West. Yeah, and here he is, Gandalis taking it forward. Gets under there, gets the hands free in the tackle. George Alice, George Alice long ball. But this is the man here. He steps back inside with a sliding defence there. They were just too slow in moving. Great change of hands there. And again there for the winger coming from his right side. That is a very good try from the big second rower. Isn't he happy? <laughs> nice and easy, nice and easy. Replacement for St George. Adrian Brunker has gone on, Greg. Whoa. He's replaced Dean there. Raper. George Arles. Up by two. Here we go. Scandalis. Up by two. Right away, boy. The earlier try. Come back, come back in the middle. Kennedy, the oh. try scorer, right full ball. of running. Langback. Okay, pick the last. No starts. Come back. Hudson plays it. No, stay there. Still stay got. There. Uh, some talent on the bench as well that Tommy Radonigas will be able to call on as Brunker gets his first touch in the number 17 jersey, the former Queensland State of Origin player. Okay, player one, let it go. Leo Dinova. No hands. Married yesterday. Not a great uh, day to spend his honeymoon. <laughs> Played a little bit of a reserve okay. grade. Come back. Earlier on, will he get a look in? Well, they haven't really missed him so far. Oh, he was supposed to be oh, a playmaker for them, but George Arles has directed traffic pretty well with playing back. Oh, Pearson still going strong. 40 out. Mundine. Got the pass away. Okay, Felsch. Wessa no gone on that left side. Kick. The chase. They didn't get there in time. Again, it was Hodgson cleaning up at the back for the Magpies. Brett Hodgson. He's got a great try in the first half for the Magpies, and he's had a little bit of work to do cleaning up some of these kicks in the in-goal area. I'll tell you what, I thought Mundine was going to open up. Then I thought he was going to run the ball because on that right-hand side, there was only three West defenders. Jock, if you're going to do anything, go for a run now, son. 
Greg Nathan Brown has come off and he's been replaced by Jeff Hardy. And Lee Murphy has moved from the wing to fullback, which has allowed Adrian Brunker to go onto the wing. David Waite rearranging the team. This leads, restarts with the dropout. <laughs> Here he goes again, Corey Pearson. Oh, good defence. Hardy at dummy half. Felsch. Good field position again for the Dragons. Tracy can't get away from Yates. Rodwell. Mundine. The inside pass to uh, Simpson, Robbie Simpson. Only 10 metres out. Rodwell. Bartram. Back to Hardy. Coyne. Coyne ducked under one. Coyne gets across the line. Mark Coyne. Individual stuff. And he's come up with a four-pointer. The captain. They stood off him and they paid the penalty. So now it's St George back in front. 20 points to 16. Well, we should have really had Mark Coyne in that situation there. The ball's been chucked out here by Robble, turns ball back and so on. This is where Wes have had a lot of problems. Hardy goes forward. He's only a couple of metres out, turns the coin, and there's nowhere to go. Kennedy comes up with a miss. Hodgson comes up with and draw Dallas. They'd be a little bit disappointed in that because there was enough men around the area here to make this tackle. The ball gets turned back into Hardy. He doesn't know what to do with it. He's got Olo. It's going to stop now. He turns the ball. Here's the core from coin. He ducks under one, ducks under two, gets the big left hand fend out. Pretty impressive try that close out when he's got a rid of about five of them. Mark Coyne, 50 career tries for the milestone for him. His 11th season here at St George. He's been the captain since 94. Queensland origin rep, an Australian representative. And Bartram, four from four, looking to give the Dragons another six point buffer. Yeah, he's done it again. He keeps his perfect record intact. So 22 points to 16. Let me question our Brett Kenny is, will the Dragons go on with it now? They've allowed the Magpies to keep getting back into the match. Well, I think the opportunity is there. And at that last try, I guess you could put down the weight of possession. They had 12, 12 tackles on Western Suburbs. Uh, as, as we said, there were just two misses there. But he had nowhere to go, Coyne, and yet he was still able to brush off two tackles and, and go over for a great try. I think this is where they've got to put Leo Dinever back into the side, give him some spark around the ruck area. Up, up, I think George come Dallas come will come Wait from the field, and I think Dinever will be come put on, on guy, shortly. Well, Tommy's already made one change. He's just put uh, taken Chris Yates off. He's been replaced by Shane McManamy in number 15. A bit of by play going on and uh, back play as well with uh, the captain uh, for Western Suburbs, Lane Mack, being pushed from behind by uh, Lee Murphy. Off the ball's up, but it is the Dragons charging forward through Ward, Hardy, Mundine. Plenty of time to think about what to do. He goes to the air, puts some pressure on the bag fires, and Hodgson takes it well. Nine metres out from his own line. He's done some great things here today, and he scored a try. What a magnificent take as McGuinness goes for a 15-metre gallop up the field. Now we see a mistake from Western Suburbs. Losing the ball. He hasn't had the happiest days, has he? he goes down there. Oh, he just dropped it there. Putting the side under pressure once more. Said too much about those drop balls. They weren't doing now, they're coming up thick and fast. Paul Langmax just left the field, been replaced by Scott Cox, and I think Langmax has got to get a change of boots. A change of boots? He's walking around with one you're, boot on. <laughs> you're kidding. You to come down. <laughs> nice and easy. Stay in there, lock. Don't go early. Don't stay there, stay there. 22 to 16, the Dragons. Great attacking opportunity. Mundine with the step taken, though, by Coxon. 
Coyne at dummy half. This time they don't allow him through. And he's forced to pass. Wow. He didn't have to do that. It's gone forward. And the Magpies survived that onslaught. Well, I know the coach's room is right next to us, Clarkie, but uh, a bit of jumping up and down in there about this pass here. Wasn't needed. They need just to get down, play the ball. And they have plenty of backs out the left-hand side. And Mark was disappointed with that. Put your, in, in you go. In you go. Stand squarely. So George Arliss puts it in, takes it out. This is Darren Willis. One of the old stages of the uh, back line. Uh, him and Andrew leads both up uh, around the 30 mark. The 30s. The penalty goes to Western Suburbs. And Mac getting ready to come back on. Finds touch on the far side. Scandalous to halfway. Kennedy. I play two. Roll away. Come back. Come back. Hold it here. All the way in front, Jeff. McGinnis gives it to Ramika, ranging wide. Pops it out the back door, back to Mesha. Up by three. West have got to go to the right. I'll come left, though. Oh, two in. I had a beautiful view of it. Beautiful view. Of two, two in the, the tackle, tackle, and you cannot steal the ball when there are two in the tackle. So the penalty goes to the Magpies, just as the captain, Paul Langmack, tries to go back out on the park. I don't know what Langers was doing there, shaking hands with the touch judge. I think it was a little bit of sarcasm because yeah. Langmack's been trying to get onto the park for a while and the... Yeah, he's been, <laughs> he's been talking over the last 10 minutes trying to get him to let him on early. <laughs> well, Andrew Leeds is going to shoot for two. And not a bad option, still plenty of time left in this match. Six points the difference at the moment. So George leading 22 to 16. Both kickers today, Andrew Leeds and Bartram, haven't missed one. And Leeds has driven it down the middle again. Arrows the gap to four, so it's 22 to 18. Still in the Dragons' favour. He's just a player you cannot have, you cannot afford not to have in your side. Kicks goals, he's safe in defence. Only for that young kid at the back, the Hodgson. Maybe he would be the fullback for Western Suburbs. Bartram kicks off. Leads. McManamy driven back in the tackle. Hold, hold! Coxon. Hit up by Scandalis. West players are really good. They've got to wait, wait, backing wait, each wait. other up. One off the ruck is not going to get them through this game as Langmack goes wide. Kennedy taken by Rodwell but got it out the back door. Cleaned up by oh. Langmack. Not a good pass at the back. Now it goes to Leeds. So sloppy play from the Magpies. Seriako Mesha steals 10 metres from dummy half. Now McGuinness gets the kick in. Straight into the arms of Adrian Brunker. Up by one. So it is good field position for the Dragons to start this set of six. And Bartram picks up another 10 metres. They're 30 out. Jeff Hardy, the veteran of the side, at dummy half, gives it over to Felsch on to Ward. 
Mundine. Tank of the tower. That's ball. Two more, two more. I stand up. Rodwell. The kick and the chase again. Hodgson going across. Did he get there that time? This is George Players think that it's a try. Yes, we got the First time that the video ref's been called in this match. Brent Hodgson looked to have it covered for Western Suburbs. But they were charging through and Daniel Wagon. Gene showed some pace, didn't he? Showed some pace. He left the ball for dead. Oh, I'm going to give him a try. That's a try for mine. Well, I'm with you too, Brett Kenny. I tell you, that is very, very close to a call. I guess the, the decision's got to be worked out as to whether the Western Suburbs fullback had his hand on the, the ball. ball at the same time. I mean, I don't know how they're going to rule it. Well, they're waiting for it now. It's a try. He's given it to St. George. Rodwell with the kick. Daniel Wagon with the chase. And it's down 26 points to 18. How fast was he over that 15 metres? That was unbelievable. Great work here by Rommel to jump out, put the kick in. Look, he's not even pitching yet. He's given the other winger 15 metres. Oh, that, that, is, that is a very good try and a great little kick there by Rommel. He certainly has got some pace. This is a very good kick. As I said, he was probably another 10 metres behind Rodwell. He's run across and then we just, just don't know how far away the fullback was, but that was a great chase. It was worthy of a try. Greg Luke Felsen last year. Greg Luke Fels has come off. He's been replaced by Corey Pearson, who's gone back on. Yeah, Corey deserved a bit of a spell, and he'll be fired up again. He's had a big day, big day, a big match, Corey Pearson. What are the odds for the <laughs> off the kickoff? He does another big charge up. <laughs> oh, stop kicking it to him. You'd think they'd change and kick oh, the other you, side, wouldn't you'd you? You'd have to. <laughs> What are the odds for Wayne Bartram to keep his 100% record? Leading point scorer for the last three years. And this is a tough one. Almost on the chalk on the far side. Not a bad attempt. He's hooked it around to the left in the end. So his first miss for the day. And the St George Dragons leading 26 points to 18 now. The Dragons is 26 lead Western Suburbs 18. Yeah, once again, nice little move out of the dummy half area. The Western Suburbs sides didn't have their, their men set at the market. And I thought he just did a good job there. He's been pretty quiet all day long as Rodwell, but he's come up with a good play there that they've come away with a try. 26 18 points now to St George. Mundine. Good take along one. Good Hope. tackle around the bootlaces by Adam Donovan. Ward. Up by three. Come back. And another try by St George. They go a long way to clinching this one. Magpies really need to okay, score next one, to one. stay in touch. Final tackle coming up. Rodwell got the kick in. Willis knocked back. Picks it up on his own try line. And the chase is good. He's pinned 10 metres out from his own line. Hodgson. I'll tell you what, the instant George is only. Two defenders on that right hand side. If they don't attack the right now, West. Wait here, wait here. come sit up here with you and I, Greg. They just need someone backing no, up. Good. At four. Chris Yates plays it. George Arles. Ramaker. Okay, Chris Arles. That's a final tackle for the Magpies. They get a penalty. Well milked. Well milked. <laughs> 
I've got to agree with him. I think it was. <laughs> if you see the replay, you watch Langmack. Oh, look. Look at he's this. Oh, and he's holding him. See? I can't get the ball, sir. What's happening? That's experience. So the Magpies, fine touch on the halfway mark. Yates. Okay, part one. Wait, don't come on, look in front. George Alice. Offloading. Bring it back, bring it back. The enemy will play it. Jalis again to Langmack. McGuinness. It's been pretty well contained today. Up by three. Ken McGuinness. Kevin McGuinness. Cross field. Hodgson in from fullback. Two more. No penalties. Wait here. George Alice darting out from dummy half. Getting it back now to McMenemy and Langmack. Going nowhere at the moment, the Magpies. Ramaker puts a head down and goes straight ahead and gets it back to McGuinness. Kevin will play it. Final tackle coming up. Langmack through the hands they go. George Alice running to the line. Now the grubber kick. And Wagon. Oh. Yeah, he didn't he back himself beautifully there, Wagon. Taking the ball, getting in between the players too. Grunker. Mundine, quick hands to Coyne, oh, but he's been smothered Willis. by Darren Willis. And give him some too, just quietly. To the short side they go. A three! Holding down in the tackle. No, no, no. It's all over, Wayne. Wayne. You've got the penalty, mate. You've got the penalty. <laughs> <laughs> so Bartram not too happy with the treatment handed out. <laughs> oh, he's got plenty to say. He's now been replaced. <laughs> Nathan Brown's going on to replace him. Nathan Brown. crunched by Ramika, his opposite number. A breather for Wayne Bartram as they put it through the hands and Ainsco calls. His centre partner, Coyne on the inside. Back it goes to the support. Grumble! Charged his arm, threw a speculator over the top. Darren Willis, number two, is in there. He's pretty well fired up, Willis. The penalty will go to Wes. Rodwell and Mesher in the back play, pushing each other. Mesher threw a wild right that landed nowhere near the mark. I'll tell you what, it landed with a big trouble. The thing, about, Ken, Ken. the thing about this, the, the tactics used suck by Western Suburbs, they were back out. chatting and, and having a talk to the St George players. It's just as likely to start putting them off their game. And there's still a bit of time left for West to get back into this. Plenty of time indeed. Just watch Mesh. He gets up there and goes straight back. McGuinness is in there. Willis. Let's, let's one go right about. Now. McMenemy to the halfway. Kennedy. Yes, the Magpies, they need to start concentrating on playing the game. Well, look, in playing the game, they've got to have a look at St. George's left-hand side defence and play that side. All out here, they're all defending against them. McGinnis. Asuri Lang has just gone on to uh, replace Darren Ramika. Over the top it goes to Kennedy. Oh, good step. Oh, Inside it goes to McGuinness. McGuinness. St George get there. And dragging down about three or four metres out, and that is the handover. Oh, what about Kennedy? That was a great ball. He set himself in back play. He touches on about something. Number 11, Saints. Number 11, Saints. Four, where you go. Four, where you go, Saints. Touch over four here. Please come here. As the place come down, it's taken number 13 to rest out of play. Okay. And just made it not be able to get to the ball. Okay. You've heard a report, Darren. Penalty over here, mate. Where is it, Brett? Where are you, mate? Just here? Okay. A late, late, a late tackle. And while all that was happening, Greg, Chris Yates has gone on and uh, he's replaced John. Uh, Chris Yates, sorry, has come off. John Scandalis has gone on. 
the Magpies. They need to turn this into points. Good field position. McManamy right in front of the uprights, 11 metres out. It's 26 points to 18 at the moment to the Dragons. But the Dragons under plenty of pressure now. Mesha, McManamy, Langmack standing wide. Changing direction now, back to McManamy. He throws the dummy, pops it out the back door. Picked oh. up by McGuinness. Oh. And Kevin is going to have to play it about eight metres out. Penalty, oh. holds on. Tang at a turn. For St George. Oh, she's on again. Well, it's been growing for quite some time. Not a great spectacle. It's going to take some time to sort that mess out. Just as the Magpies were really on a bit of a roll as well, it came at a bad time for them as Kevin McGuinness was pulled down about five or six metres out. Tangata Tower was in there in the thick of things for St George, number 12. He was throwing them a lot. There was no tomorrow. Paul, go away, thanks. What happened? Who was the initial guy? Is this initial guy here? Well, he, he put the punch in after hanging down a bit. I blew a penalty at that stage. We got any runners in? Nine for West. Nine for West? Who else have we got? We got anybody else? Okay, nine for West and 12 for St George. And what's the report on nine? Nine's come in. Uh, he was the next player in. Okay. Okay, let's go. Here, thank you. Here, thank you. Four, quiet now, mate. Quiet now. Let's go. Off. Two players to the bin. Laying back set from the field. Number nine. Number well, nine. There's more to come. Number nine. Over here, Jerry. Come here, please. Report to the touch judge that you have come in, okay, as a third person. Yeah. Third person. And he's thrown punch. And he's out of it. Okay, get going, too. Get going. Jerry Mesher, 10 of the bin for Western Suburbs. The penalty's over here. Well, Tang at a tower, the second over roll here. for St George, 10 of the bin. So it's back to the penalty after all that, and Western Suburbs still have some time. Inside the last 10 minutes. No, never back. St George, no, inside. Don't stop it The 10, or they were certainly offside to play the ball. It's still alive this match, and the McGuinness is going to try and step his way okay, through. Go. Mate, they've got Kevin. a couple left. Sorry, Greg. West has got it. Skandalis. He's a couple of metres out. Up by two. Stand up. Stand up. Confirming Langback. Sinbin for 10 Patrick. minutes, not sent from the field. So West down to 11. St George have 12. Stand up. Stand up. And a Siri Lang Stand is up. only a half a metre out. Don't take it off him. Oh. Kick him behind the line. Wagon. He's going to get back there. Plenty of time for him to place the ball. And so we'll have a restart from between the sticks. I'll tell you what, Wagon did a great job getting on the ball, but initial pressure by Western Savage. They've just got to control the game. And settle down. And, just, and here's the, this is the punch up here. He's held down here. A little bit of an elbow, and he's just into it. Oh. Well, I don't know how they got Mesha coming in second there. He was probably getting belted himself. Colin Ward, he's over there on the right throwing them. McGuinness is in there again. I'll tell you what, it's been brewing for 70 minutes. The blacks, the blacks that can fight, neither one of them are in it. Best way to be. The video review committee will view that with a lot of interest, I'm sure. And out of that, Mesha Sinbin for 10 minutes. He won't be back. Tangata Tower for St George won't be back. And Langmack questioning the referee. He got 10 of the bin as well. Hi, three. But Western Suburbs still in with a show here. The Saints leading by eight. They're only down to 11 men. They can't afford to so do long cutout passes. They've got to put the ball through the hands to make All St George come and make them tackle them. McGuinness, Scandalis, George Arles. Leads back to George Arles. 
to Willis. All right, last one. Let's go. Let's Final tackle fight. coming up now. Leeds. Hodgson on the final tackle, got the kick in, Grunker, some work to do to get out of there, and manages to do it. There's good work there by Grunker to get out, a lot of pressure, good work here by the young kid Hodgson again, puts the boot, I thought he was taking out a play just back there, this is good work here, the West player should have had him in there though. Penalty to St George, West inside the 10. With only 11 men on the field, there's no need to try and rush it. Stay with the referee, look at that. Way offside, they give him no option. You're better off just holding your line and let them pass the ball. As Wagon goes for another run. Scandalous across there to claim him. One. Come on, let's go. Along with Donovan. Long ball from Long. Rod Wall! Hardy! Track time! Jeff Hardy! Oh no! He's lost the ball! Well, he was heading for the line. What? <laughs> Didn't control the ball as a defender came to him. And it bounced out. Oh, great ball there by Rod Wall again. Puts the man into the hole. He thought he was home and hose. Hardy's going for the line, but what about the tackle? Just there, gets his right hand in and knocks the ball out. I wonder if that's... Oh, then he knocks the ball on. Otherwise, it should be play on. Well, for about it all. And now it's Leeds. Under five minutes remaining. And Western Suburbs stop it up. Counter-attack. Over on the far side. Eight score! on this match. Jamie go selling a victory for St George. Well, maybe not yet. The video referee called upon again. Better be sure, mate. Better be sure. Did he get it down? Downward pressure. Oh, it has try. appeared to be there. It's a try for all money, that one. Yeah. I'm so glad we wait for the video referee us, guys. They should be consulting us. <laughs> Actually, I think he's worried about whether he took the flag out before he placed the ball, the referee. One of the West, okay from there. The Western yeah. Suburbs player that made the tackle actually appealed to the to the touch touch, so whether or not <laughs> that influenced the referee, I don't know. Something for the red and white army on the hill at Cogra to cheer about. 30 points to 18 now. Yeah. Taking the ball up off the right. Got absolutely smashed. There was just quick hands. I tell you what, young Kennedy did a magnificent job here trying to keep him out. Good diving tackle there, just got the ball down, Ansco, but Kennedy, he's probably been one of their best players here. Watch him come across and cover. Struggling to get there, show good pace. It's a little bit unlucky to kick. That was a mistake that led to it. Pearson reminded him about it, dropping the shoulder in. And Ansco, clear under the line, got it down for the try. Now he'll be asked to try and convert his own try. Plenty of points heading up towards 300. That's the angle of the distance for Jamie Ainsco. Not a bad season opener for St George. 10 all at half time. 16 all at one stage in the second half. He's astray with the conversion attempt. But now 30 points to 18. Three just about three minutes or so remaining. Greg, Wayne Bartram has gone back onto the field and he's replaced Jeff Hardy. Wayne Bartram goes back on the field replacing Jeff Hardy. So nothing to cheer about for Western Suburbs today and at the moment they're down to 11. Hodgson got a try in the first half. Leeds, a good day with the boot. 
been pretty solid playing in the centres. Pulled off the bench to start in the match for Aziri Lang. Here's Pearson again, still full of running. It's full time at North Sydney Oval. Newcastle defeated North Sydney 18 points to 14. Felsch. 30 metres out. Looking ahead to next week, St George play Cronulla here at uh, Cogra. As Long makes a break. Nathan Long got the pass on the inside to the support. Back to Long. The momentum stopped there. That's three. Nathan Brown. Darren. He's the other black at Cronulla. That's the same right. white here. They, they same white together. hair. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies to <laughs> Nathan to Long. Long and also to Brown. And now it is the captain. Coin on oh. the inside. Rodwell. And Rodwell's going to get a double in his first match for St George. <laughs> Matthew Rodwell. Making his presence felt here at Cogra. And it's 34 points to 18. The Magpies, two men down, simply don't have the numbers on defence. Yeah, they certainly don't have the numbers, that's for sure. But it's really just catch and pass. The winger there, Willis, should have come in and probably taken coin. But the ball back inside. Oh, I'll tell you what, well, that's a dicey pass too. I think that was Ford. I really do. No, it's well, lovely work and all the rest of it. Honestly, I think the referee's in that position to make that decision there, Brett Kenny. It was another line ball decision. But I mean, this has been just good play by St George. And Matthew Rodwell backing up, backs up superbly on the inside. As you say, the winger should have come in on, on coin. But there was Rodwell again, backing up on the inside, go over for his second try. And it certainly has been good for him to be able to get a double his first day back with the Dragons. It's, it's, a double. It's hard enough playing with 13 men, let alone 11 men. It's like soccer against the rugby league, so you are going to come off second best. I think their discipline really has let them down quite a bit here today. As Bartram has another shot at goal. There's another two points to the Dragons. The thing about West Wiz, I think they, they tried to unsettle St George, you know, and they, they were very verbal with them and, and everything like that, but I, I think they just went on a little bit too long with it and it backfired against them. Yeah, it certainly. Well, here's this pass. Now, it looks, I reckon it's nearly half a metre forward, but what makes it look all right is Coin has kept running as he's passed the ball. Well, that's another dice. And when Rob will score that second try, not taking anything away from the try, it's great work by all players in concern. Just a little bit suspect about the two passes that he has received for his two tries. What time for the kickoff? It's all over here at Cobra. Welcome back, Anthony Mundine. You're back with a victory. No joy for Andrew Leeds and the Magpies. Nathan Brown sharing a joke at the end of the match, but there were some fiery encounters throughout. David Not a problem now. Game. That's the way it should be after the full-time siren sounds. Ten all. At halftime, it was one try apiece in the first 40. But the Dragons really running away with it in the second half. They've scored five tries to one in that second 40. So full-time, St George 36, West 18.